So if you're at the point in life where you're thinking about getting into the life and health insurance business, stay with me because I'm going to talk with you specifically about the traits and characteristics that one should have and the things they should be thinking about if they're going to get into this business. Hi, my name is Jeremy Smith and over the last 15 years I've been an agent, a manager, uh, owner operator of an insurance brokerage and for the last six or seven years I've been a business coach traveling the country helping agents and agency owners grow their practices and today I'm going to try and help you grow yours. If you've been on YouTube before then you know the game. Please hit subscribe and ring the bell. So again if you're at that point in life where you're thinking about getting into the insurance business you've got to figure out what's important to you. You have to figure out what you're looking for. I can only tell you what I was looking for and what was important to me when I was at that point in life. And maybe that'll help you a little bit in your own decision. For me, I, was, I had about four or five things that I that were just must for me. Number one, I'd been self-employed most of my life. Uh, and so a nine to five job, it just wasn't in the cards for me. I, I've always been one that really valued the ability to control my own time. Uh, been us on enough sales jobs that uh, I knew that I wanted to be able to control how much money I made and more importantly I want to make sure that there wasn't a ceiling on how much money I could make I wanted the sky to be the limit for me uh, I wanted to uh, make sure and this may or may not be important to you, but to me I want to make sure I left a footprint that when I'm gone from this earth that I could look back or my kids could look back and say he did something you know in a career like this uh, on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis, I walk out of people's homes and I know that I helped or changed somebody's lives. And there's a really big benefit there uh, that some people don't realize until they have it. Uh, obviously, I want to make sure there was a marketplace uh, for where I was going to go into my new career at. And in this business, the baby boomer bubble uh, kind of solidified that. Baby boomers are really who our target market is. And obviously, I knew that with that being our target market, I knew we were going to have clients and people needing my services for as long as I plan to be working. And then the final thing is I wanted to make sure that there was a plan for how am I going to get in front of those people, a marketing plan. Those are just some of the things that I was looking for. Again, you've got to figure out uh, what's important to you. So now let's talk about some traits or some skill sets that if, if those things uh, that I just mentioned are you share and those are important to you, let's talk about some things that you may want to take a self-reflection on and see if this person is you. Because these are some skill sets uh, that I think are almost mandatory uh, if you're going to become an insurance agent in the life and health field. Number one, you need to understand and realize that there are no guarantees. There's no financial guarantees, okay? So you better have a little bit of money set aside because it could be a couple, two or three months before you really start uh, making any consistent money. Um, and you better have some thick skin. In our business, marketing is everything. And there is no way around using the phone, okay? You're going to call a lot of people for a lot of days and a lot of weeks of your entire career. It's a monotonous job sometimes and you're going to get told no a lot. You got to be okay with that. You got to be able to swipe that off your back and go to the next phone call. You've got to be able to multitask. Uh, my day to day is all over the board from setting appointments to running appointments to running the business and everything in between. There's just a lot of things that come uh, with being an insurance agent and especially if you're talking about actually building a practice uh, again you gotta have strong phone skills the thick skin isn't always just on the phone it's also uh, in home sometimes and you gotta be con you gotta be willing to continually learn okay I've been in this business for 15 years and I'm still learning every single day you've got to be able to get your mind uh, a practice where every single day for 15 minutes when you start the day, you're just reading about things and learning. It's a never-ending never learning process in the retirement planning practice or in the insurance business. You gotta have a major focus on, on detail, and I know that flies in the face of a lot of you type A personalities, and so if that's not a normal characteristic for you, uh, then uh, to me, the only fix on that is having an attention on on focus, okay, and building systems out. So it, it, it organizes your day a lot better. Again, money management skills, I, I talked a little bit about that, but here's the deal. I don't care if you've been in this business for a month or you've been in this business for a year. 
you're going to have a roller coaster when you look at the income on your bank statements. There's good months, there's bad months, and sometimes there's droughts. There's gossip probably, as long as you're doing all the right things, uh, you're going to have some great months. But you better be able to save some money from those great months to get through the bad months. Money management skill is so vital when becoming an all-commission insurance agent. I look at the first year as a game of survival, okay? If you can get past that first year, your life is going to be so much easier. In fact, I normally tell people if you can get past that first year, you're probably going to retire in this business because there's two or three things that just happen that makes life so much easier in year two from year one. Number one is a little thing called residuals. At some point in probably month 13, depending on exactly what you're selling, you're going to start getting paid a little bit of money from a sale you made a year ago. And so money is going to become a little bit easier the longer you go. You get, especially you get into year two, year three, it just gets easier and easier because your residual income gets bigger. Time is a big one, right? When you're first starting out, you're doing so many things. You're learning so many things. You're trying out so many new things. After that year, it just things start to kind of click. Maybe a little bit earlier than a year, maybe month 10, 11, 12. Things just click for you. You get to do things in half the time which means you can do more of the things that make you money. And the final thing is, if you're doing it right and you're building a database of clients instead of a database of sales, what's going to happen is, is not only are you going to have residuals because your policies that you've sold them are going to stay on the books, but you're going to start to build a book of people that look at you as their advisor and give you referrals and help you build your book even bigger. Okay? I think that these are some... Real big characteristics, uh, some traits and some skill sets and just some big tip items that you need to be thinking about if you're thinking about getting into this business. I'm obviously biased. I think it's from a timing standpoint with the baby boomer bubble still happening. I think it's one of the greatest industries you could possibly get into. But you, you've got you've to be willing to do the things we just talked about. And if you can't do those things, it's going to be really hard for you. Okay. I hope that the things we talked about fit you. I hope you find a way to get into this business. It is such a great, rewarding, lucrative business in so many ways. I hope this video hit home with some of you. If so, please uh, do me a favor and like and subscribe and we'll make sure you have access to our whole library of videos that we're putting out for everybody in this field. Okay. Hope you have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you in your next video. Mm -hmm.